May it please you to hear me. What, what is right for your child to do from your point of view? I think it's to love being with you. What is just so sad from your point of view when they're not with you? I think your ideal is that they're with you and love being with you. And they're not happy really being anywhere else. It's not that you're looking for their dependence. Although you do rejoice in that, if they feel dependent. But if they feel so independent that they don't relate to you anymore and they're far off and far away, living their life in some other com country, then it leaves you with a longing for those that do love to be with you. Just love your company. Love being your family. Close. Living interrelatedly with you. Oh, that's for stranger. Do I mean in fellowship? Probably that's a better word. I mean close. What we call a partner. A marriage partner, isn't it? I mean a good marriage, of course. Good in the way that I've understood three marriages. And but everlasting. <laughs> and much more so. Much better, if you know what I mean, than I've managed, but I say no, I've managed, but I've had the experience of incredibly close and loving relationships, which I express as being we do everything together, we're never apart. They are inseparable. They're not conceivable, but in terms of each other being together. <laughs> that there is, if you like, a oneness. And I don't mean such a oneness that they're not individual. They're very individual and very devoted to each other. And the loveliness is that somehow each has something lovely to contribute. But somehow the valuation of each other is not dependent on that. For if they had nothing now to contribute, but a longing to be with you, oh, well, that's just lovely. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are so eternally welcome. Do you see, well, it, we love, I mean, if I put it mildly, we love fellowship, we love relationship. We love friendship, we love a partner, a, a, a wife, a husband, a son, a daughter, a mum, a dad. But close. Close and wonderful, close and lovely, close and you being beautiful to me. Just so utterly glad. You're always with me, always there to, to think about and care for and support and help and be equally so by you, equally loved and cared for and supported and That is the ideal, and, and, and if, if that's my understanding of personhood, the ideal personhood state, how much more for God? 
I know that I can't quite, quite, that's an understatement, goodness gracious. I can't really grasp the all of what it means to him, whatever the perfect relationship is, but that it's something to do with my relationship with him. And that it be perfect, not as I attempt to conceive of it, but as he knows it to be. Or even more than that in some way. But that's the whole point of fellowship and friendship and love and kindness, is that we are more than ourselves. Or ourselves are more because of the relationship, because of the friendship. Well, if that's it, that's what I want to be to him. To God. And to all that he loves. Which in my hope is that it, it is for all. That all things are made by him. And all things in some eternal realm are in the completeness of whatever he understands utter goodness and loveliness to be. What I conceive in parallel, Lord, that you conceive of in, in truth and reality unmanifest. I don't know how to put it, but you do. And you can put it in the meaning to you that my words in themselves don't seem to reach. But you do. Because you're God. Our God. Our dad, our mum, our friend, our wonderful one, our companion. So we praise you, that's the nearest we can approach to being right with you. That we value what we understand at present to be good and you will lead us into greater understanding by valuing such. That is our hope and our trust. It's a hope and trust that we must have. Or we cannot be happy. We cannot feel safe. We cannot feel right in some way. The very Substance of life is this hope that's in the, our praising of God. So we we value loveliness, goodness, kindness, beauty, truth, integrity, creativity, um, honesty, uh, joy, peace hope, trust, um, wisdom, understanding, power, glory, blessing, goodness. We ascribe this to our God and his purpose for us to because of the wonderfulness, wonder, miraculous, um, synchronistic, I was going to say, perfect timing, perfect comprehension, omni, omni everything, presence, consciousness, uh, what's the other one, might, power, Ability, creativity, all those things.
But that's our best shot. We can only give our best shot. And he knows that. And he loves us for it. It's childish from his perspective. But he's chosen to love children, you see. That's why he has us. We wouldn't exist if he didn't want us. He wants us, yes, as children. Perhaps children to be wonderful adults with him. We think so. That's our best hope. So if he were to say to us, well, what do you want of me? Oh, Father, so much what you know to be best. And really, we only don't ask because our desire is to trust and believe that utterly already as our gift to you. We don't know what else we can give you really. But our desire to be lovely with you. And we trust that that desire is just what he wants, just what he values, just what he delights in. And if it isn't and it's something else, well, may that be so, Lord. Whatever's good with you. Hmm. Something of that, isn't it? It's all in parables and parallels. But the Holy Spirit interprets it to God the way it should be. That's our trust. and speaks to us in the practice of such as we love on our God, as we understand it to be best to do and right to do so. Thank you, Dad. We summarize it by saying, may we have a an ever-growing consciousness of you, Father. And the blessing of such, the blessing of the full awareness of you, your presence. We're not going to get the full awareness. We're not up to it. We'd overcharge instantly, but whatever's best with you, Father, I trust to be in that, Lord. This is our joy. Our joy is trusting you, loving you. Thank you, Dad. Uh, and quite simply, of course, that is his joy too, that his kids love him, that that's their joy. And that's what they see as their joy. Wow, I got there in the end. <laughs> At least I've got this far. <laughs> Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Dad.